Yeah. I was fine. Okay, hold on. All right, there we go. Holding on. Holding on. <laughs> hey. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How's everybody? Well, good. Yay. You're still in your work clothes. I am still in my work clothes. <laughs> is it kind of comfy, though? It is comfy, actually, because, mm-hmm. um, yeah, otherwise I would have changed. But I, yeah. I actually changed out of my work clothes that are also very comfortable. They are comfy, but today you were wearing pink. Yeah. <laughs> They came off. Actually, I did a lot of shitty jobs on it before I took it off. Oh, did ya? Yeah. You only wear those once a year, the pink ones? Only once a year. Oh, okay. But I didn't think I'd ever wear them again. Mm. Well. So they were, so my last job, I worked, well, I worked five days a week, but I only worked with patients four days a week. Oh, okay. And so when it was time for us to buy scrubs, Dr. Lee decided to be nice for everybody, all because there was four of us that were going to have to wear scrubs, and all yeah. four of us got to pick out a set of scrubs. Oh. I did not obviously pink, pick the pink ones. Somebody did. Mm-hmm. I They picked the pink ones to get back at me because, you know, I worked with all Koreans. Yeah. And I decided that I needed to have um, a top that looked like Asian. So oh. I, in my little scrub catalog, I found a top called the Asia top. So it, you know how like um, the collars for some of them are kind of like an orient type yeah, collar? Yeah. I found a scrub top that has that. There's a picture of it in my room. Okay. I brought it to, I wore it to work once on Christmas because it's green yeah. and has a cute little black accent right here. And I wore black scrub pants with it. Um, all the Koreans hated it. Why? Mm. Just they just didn't like it. Aww. They they just said they didn't. They felt stupid wearing something like that because oh, they're no. in they're okay. in America now. They're <laughs> like we're not wearing that crap. Well, so <laughs> I did not relinquish my pick. Oh, my pick stayed. No. So all of them had to wear that green top, my Asia top with the black bottoms because that's what I picked. Oh. And then the other two picks by the other girls were really nice picks. They were just. One was just like what I wore today, but a blue version. Okay. So it was a navy bottoms and then a light blue with a navy stripe mm-hmm. through it instead of the white stripe. Yeah. And I didn't mind that. They're very comfortable. And the other ones were my Grey's Anatomy scrubs, the green ones. Oh, yeah. You'll yeah. see on St. Patty's Day. Oh, okay. But then the pink ones. And oh, then the pink ones. So when we moved over, I still kept all my scrubs because you're just not sure if you're going to have to work at a place that you need your scrubs. Yeah. And you don't have to buy them again. Exactly. Because they're expensive. Yeah. I mean, that set I have on, over $100. Holy crap. Mm-hmm. Are you serious? Dead serious. $30 for the bottoms, I usually 30 for the top, and you got to pay Why about are they so expensive? Because it's just like the toilet paper and the gloves, They because they can. I could sew you a pair for uh, like do it? 20 bucks. Do it. <laughs> I, need the, I need to buy two new sets this year. Oh, my gosh. Full sets. Oh, that's Yay. not fun. So well, the excited. reason Heather was wearing her pink scrubs today is because today was the last day she worked before Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. So everybody, everybody at work was wearing pink, except so, for me. Yep. Well, not everybody. Tara didn't participate. Um, Angie wore pink shoes. Okay. Um, nope. I would say most of the people in the back did not participate with this like they usually do. Usually oh. it's like Valentine's threw up in the back and I'm like the least dressed because <laughs> I just wear scrubs in a color. But I did talk Norith into wearing her pink scrubs. Norith was so cute. Did you know I actually had those scrubs? Really? Yeah, those were actually all of our scrubs in that oh. clinic. And then when they changed us out to the black, they made us all bring them back. Oh. And I was the last one to bring my back. I was really dragging my heels on. Not because I wanted to keep the Pepto-Bismol pink scrubs. Yeah. Because that's what they are. They're like Pepto-Bismol. Yeah, they're pink. They're like <laughs> hot pink. Mine were baby pink. <laughs> and these were hot pink. They um, were pink. And they kept bugging me for him. I find it was Gail. I wonder if Gail will remember this. You should ask her about it. Okay. Because it's going to be kind of a funny thing. And I brought Gail aside because she was the one wanting them for the school because she's always been involved with the school. Yeah. And I go, I just don't feel comfortable bringing you my scrubs knowing you're going to give them to someone else to wear. Oh. And she's like, okay, well, can you explain this? So the listeners, you're going to learn something special about me. (laughs) I don't like to wear underwear. Most of our listeners know that already. They do. (laughs) But if you don't, this is what it is. So those pink scrubs were pretty much me commando in every time. Mm -hmm. And I really didn't feel like handing those off. either. They were clean. 
I cleaned them all the time. Well, I yeah. washed them, but still, it was. It's like wearing someone else's underwear. It kind of is. It and kind of and is. And I explained this to her. She laughed a little, and she's like, I, "They're not going to know." I'm like, "But I'm going to, if because at this <laughs> point, these students would come into our clinic at the end of every." Um, class or not the end of like their whole schooling the yeah. end of the 11 weeks they had to come into our office and observe us for a day so i would see them in these scrubs and i kept waiting for a really tall girl because <laughs> there was three <laughs> pin marks because one of my pins broke and i would know oh, my scrubs and you'll know which one did you ever see it no oh so i'm wondering if gail got rid of them maybe maybe she felt maybe bad. she got rid of them because of the pin marks she might have got rid of them because of the pin marks i didn't know they actually gave them the scrubs so, like those are north scrubs mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I didn't know yeah. they actually stint them off with them. So I don't think there's any more of our pink scrubs anymore. That's well, I don't know. I she was in any. a fairly newer class. I haven't seen any anywhere. Because we've been rocking the black, I think, for two or three years now. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, know. so yeah, that's where those scrubs came from. <sighs> that I was that was the story of today. Was with our the pink scrubs? Our pink scrubs. Everyone wore pink but me because nobody told me, and I wore green. Uh, that's <laughs> kind of a. <laughs> Fib, I'm going to say, because you knew all week I was doing this. You didn't tell me. I did, too. You did not. I did tell you. When? I actually told you yesterday. Told you, God damn it, I got to wear the stupid pink scrubs tomorrow. And you said, oh, why? I was like, because it's Valentine's Day and we're supposed to wear pink or red. But see, I guess it's weird because today was the last day you worked, but I still have to work tomorrow. Yes, but you just dress up when the rest of us dress up. Okay. It was just weird. Now, on Halloween, there was two days of dress up. Why? Because Justin wanted to dress up with the ortho people on Friday. Okay, yeah, no. Because I showed, <laughs> I don't know why, but I had to come into the office that on that Friday before Halloween with Thor. I don't remember why I had to come in there, but I had to come in there for something. Oh. And I saw Justin and all the people, and then Justin made me stay and take a picture of them as a group. Fun. <laughs> it was. <laughs> all right. Let's oh, um, see. happy Valentine's Day, guys. Happy Valentine's yeah. Day, everybody. Mm. In case you didn't know, I'm Jacoby. And I'm Heather. And together we make a... Jether! This is Jether's Random Stuff, where we're just randomly talking about pink scrubs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the people that get to wear them after us. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see. Let's... Uh, here's an icebreaker question. All right. All right. What do you think of tour group packages what tour group packages so i personally have never done a tour group can, package can we back it up a little bit yeah what the fuck is that thank you okay thank you all right i don't know what a tour group package is okay i, I want to say for the record i have no idea what the fuck has been happening like for the past 10 minutes i i don't <laughs> know what you guys are talking about <laughs> the pink scrubs yeah i don't so they're scrubs that are pink no i know that <laughs> oh, oh okay I, you okay. listed a bunch of names Oh, yeah, so know. they're all co-workers. I understand to that extent, but I don't know what's happening. It's okay. okay. We're going to move on now. Yeah, so don't you worry. you can understand. I'm going to explain the tour group package. Okay, yeah. Yeah, So I don't understand. I don't know say, what's going on with that. For example, Kay. say I decided I wanted to go to Egypt. Okay. So I'm not just going to go online and book a plane to Egypt because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, yeah. right? I don't even know what language they speak over there, okay? Egyptian? So yeah, probably I is bet. that a language? I don't know. Can you look that up, please? Okay. <laughs> um, so I would go to a travel agent and I would say, hey, yeah. I want to go to Egypt. Yes. And he would say, okay, I have a tour group going to Egypt in two months. You, wa- you went on none of that. So basically, oh. you go with a group of other people that also want to go to Egypt. But you don't know these people? You don't know these people. I'm already out. And so... <laughs> <laughs> And the travel agent books the flight for you, the hotel for you, the tour guides that take you around Egypt and show you all of the things. But you're with the same people. And tell you all of the stuff. What if you get with someone that annoys the shit out of you, like in the first five minutes, and now you're locked with them for a week or two? Yes, but this way you're in a foreign country where you don't speak the language, you don't know the custom, you don't know anything, but you're with someone the entire time that guides you around so you Mm. don't get lost, Mm. you don't get mugged or killed. And you have all of your amenities. Unless you have a mugger and a murderer in your group. Okay, Heather. Mm -hmm. You agree? (laughs) Yeah. 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 You see that? I'd rather hire a bodyguard than a travel agent. So Mm -hmm. I'm just explaining. And then the Mm -hmm. tour guides will tell you all the history and all the customs and everything where you go. So it's just Mm -hmm. like an easy way to go somewhere if you're uncomfortable 
going, like if I wanted to go to Egypt, which I kind of do, um, I would do a tour group because then you could, you know, you could say, and I want to see the pyramids, and I want to see this, and I want to see this. It'd be cool to take a picture with a and mummy. And just arrange it all. Yeah. We should take a I selfie. I don't think they let one. you see the, like. We just have to get in there. We just <laughs> it's not a big deal, Megan. You What's just get in there, and you open the toomey tomb, and then the selfie selfie, gonna and then you close the toomey yeah, tomb. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they aren't still in the tomb. Are we gonna They're in the museum. Can we just Brendan Fraser it and just... Yes. Yeah. We can That's do exactly that. what I was channeling right there. Brendan Fraser. Mm-hmm. 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 From the yeah, from the mummy. Yeah. Is there an Egyptian language? Modern standard Arabic. 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 Okay. Arabic. I don't speak Modern Arabic. Modern standard though. So, yeah. so someone that mean, would need to translate for me. Or just well, learn. Do you know what else? I'm pretty sure there's translator on our phones. Yeah. Yeah. True. You yeah. just have them talk and then it goes out in English or it types it out in English for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm, don't need a translator. So, I don't know. I knew someone when I worked at the paper who did tour groups a lot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And she went to Egypt and she went to China and she went to all over. Like, all over. Because she was by herself. So, she didn't have anyone going with her. She was a single woman. Oh. And so, she she wanted to visit these places. So, she would do a tour group. And then she was with other people that she knew was a safe kind of environment. So, it sounds like you kind of like the tour group idea. I think that if there was a place I wanted to go, I would first go with a tour group. And then if I felt comfortable there and then learned, then I would go by myself the next time. Now, are you locked with these people? Like everywhere you got to eat with them. You're in the same hotel with them. You're doing not everything. necessarily, not necessarily. You're probably in the same hotel um, and you probably get meals maybe in the same place. You don't have to sit with them and eat. Kathy and Ruth did one when they did that river cruise. In and they were with Europe. others. Mm-hmm. Did they complain about the others? Nope. You mm. do have your free time to wander around. That you're not shackled right. to right. the group the whole time? Yeah. Mm. I know. I'm still like on the fence. On the, Well, I'm it's actually like not on the fence. I'm actually basically you're on just, the other side. It's of just it. like if mm. you went on a tour, like say you went to tour a museum and you were at the tour and you just were taking a tour of a museum and there were just other people there also. Yeah, that yeah. always annoys me. But it's like. Because there's a stupid person in there asks the stupid questions and then I can't move on. <laughs> <laughs> I th- it, it makes me feel kind of like a school field trip where you can't Ex- like deviate from exactly. the group. Exactly. It's like uh, when I'm going on vacation to a foreign country, I don't want to be on a school field trip. I want to be able to do whatever the fuck I want. Plus, yeah, but I feel like I can't do what I want because I don't know what to do. But that's when your best that's friend That's why you do research. A, thank you. Before going there. I, you know I do tons of research. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you still don't speak the language or anything. I'll Translator. Learn. It's on our fucking phone. We can yeah, just pull up Google the translator is not going to tell you don't go down to this part of town because you're going to get mugged. That's why we do research. Yeah. Yeah, but that kind of stuff doesn't show up on the internet. All Google time. reviews. You think there hasn't been some <laughs> random fucking white lady and her husband from the USA going down to Egypt and learning that there's a sketchy part of town in some place? <laughs> yeah, that's like, very true. I'm just saying there's <laughs> certain countries that you go to that I think it'd be better to be in. A and we can respect your opinion on this. We can, but can you see where we're coming from mm-hmm. here? Because I mean, cause oh, I get it. Because it's like, I, 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 I like to talk. I like to like if I'm on a tour. And the tour guide's saying something interesting, but I see something funny and I want to make a joke. I'm going to piss off the whole group. And I feel and like now I'm going to feel like I can't be myself on my vacation. And I feel like on the tour, if the tour guide's talking and explaining uh-huh. like history and stuff like that, I feel like with you, it's going to be the same situation when we're in the movie theater. It is. Oh, yeah. Oh, where yeah. Heather can't, you know. Well, this is be why we don't go to movies. <laughs> <laughs> we don't go to movies with me. <laughs> I've, I've been saying this for years. I don't sit still well. Uh, yeah. I mean, even right now, I have my toe moving. I know. I have to move. I know. It's hard for her to sit and do the podcast. She has it issues. Is. All right. Anywho. That was a good uh, icebreaker. It was, there was a right? nice. That was a good debate. Sorry it was two on one, but. Hey. It was just. Know? I hate people in general. You know what? So I'm obvi- I really do too. Yeah. I'm yeah. obviously going to side with the part that doesn't have to be around other people. I, well, you know what? Mm-hmm. Let's uh, let's go on a let's let's join a tour group and go somewhere one time. No. Where are we going to go? We I just established we did not want to. I know, but I want to <laughs> try it out and if it sucks ass, you'll never do it again. I'll never do it again. And you'll learn Arabic so we can go down to Egypt together without See, a no. tour guide. Do you know what we'll I'm do? I'm not learning Arabic. This is what we'll do. We will do the tour guide 
group thingy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Megan and I are going to research the shit out of this. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to see if there's any information that they provide that we don't know. Okay. And if okay. there is no information that they provide that we don't know, like we know all the sketchy shit. Okay. We know how to translate. We can do all this shit. We will, we will never do that again. Okay. Well, another thing is we could always just, instead of going through the trouble of needing a tour guide, we could just go to somewhere in Europe where practically everyone speaks English. Mm. Like just go to mm. the UK. Yeah. That's not as fun. <laughs> how is that not as fun? <laughs> how about Australia? They speak English too. Yeah, I don't want to go to Australia. Really? That's on my top like five. Everything places wants I want to visit. kill you. Yeah. Even what? the things that can't kill you want to kill you. Yeah. Nothing wants to kill me. They have spiders this big. I know. I'm going to take a selfie nope. with one. And nope. they don't. Why want would you say that to her, mom? You know she's going to like that. They have super poisonous snakes. Yes, they, they do. Guess what? So do we here. Not as many Not as, as many. we have the most different kinds of rattlesnakes in the world here yeah they but have them there more well yes they do they have every the type animals of snake. in australia fucking target you yeah they like lock on and like <laughs> it's not no animals it's, here don't do that i will have a kangaroo no oh yes i'll get a little joey yep a little one kangaroo does not want to be your friend oh it does no it doesn't sometimes haven't you seen the ones that hug their saviors and people yeah sometimes they attack yeah, I understand. I've seen that. I was prayed it's by the kangaroo. It's not a sometimes. It is a 99% You're of the time. You're going to get kicked. The kangaroo You're gonna is going to... face. If you get anywhere in like a 100-mile radius of a kangaroo, it's coming after you. 100 and they, miles. That's a little bit of exaggeration, and they you know punch, it. They, punch, they will punch you in the face. Yes, they will. They will. I know all this stuff. <laughs> I research animals. I know. Plus, they have really awesome... Um, oh, there's koalas. Koalas, koalas are, are cute. dumb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they're so cute they're if you dumb. don't put them on the tree that they were like born on then they will like refuse to eat and they will starve to death because they're fucking idiots i hate koalas they're dumb ass animals i don't wow. care anyone Whoa. who says they're cute is dead wrong they're little fucking rat faces <laughs> oh my you I are hate, feel very strongly about koalas i hate they're dumb and they look like rats and they I do not they're fucking cute no they're they got tiny little rat faces they're on the, cute the big, and they no, and they've got furry little ears that i wanted to dumb fucking their, furry oh little ears god. scratch their little how ears how is that ugly oh my it's god ugly. So that's, that's adorable ugly. It's, it's a cute a little koala it's a it's a rat that eats bamboo and is dumb as fuck. I don't understand the appeal behind Megan, it. You need to chill, honey. Did you have a bad day? I didn't. I had a <laughs> great have a day. Bad day at school. Megan actually went to school, like real school today. I did. Yeah, because it's Thursday. Well, it was a pre. It was a review because she already learned it yesterday. What? What? Well, no. I thought you had to no. sign in the class on Wednesday and you had to watch your class that you're going to have. No, for she Thursday. literally says, yeah, I'm here. And then she goes back to sleep. Oh, no. so but you could get a preview if you sat there and they watched the whole thing. They actually tell me they like like the first day I went on the Google meet and they went, oh, Megan, aren't you in the B group? And I said, yeah, I am. And, she, and my teacher went, leave the meeting. You don't need to be here. Oh, they kicked you out. They did. They kicked me this, out. I like this rosé. It's from Total Wine and More. I really like it. I really like it too. It's called we take big you sipper know wine. We should take a picture of these wines that we like from there, and yeah. then make an album in our phone. That's a really good idea of the wines we like because we won't remember. Do you guys see the trend going around where people are turning pictures into album covers? You guys could do that with wine. We could do that. Album covers for like a um, CD or something. Yeah, yeah. You know how it's like a on some album color covers it's like a like a picture of a polaroid and then like explicit content like down at the bottom like it's really <laughs> easy to like edit like our podcast explicit content yeah oh. because we say the word fuck on here yeah. <laughs> we don't say fuck that often i mean I, megan's dropped it about I 20 times this trip i say it a lot i hate koalas she fucking hates koalas all right hey we're gonna move on to our main topic and we're not gonna have time to go through very many <laughs> <laughs> well that Just sucks <laughs> Um, since it is Valentine's Day coming up, we we're, should do some Valentine's uh, shit. We have found this awesome article about ten creepy Valentine's Day mysteries that are still unsolved. Will you do something for me that's really bothering me? Yeah. Will you tuck oh. that tape in? Oh yeah. I just did before you got here. It doesn't stay. 
No. What is it doing? Because it's painter's tape and it's not supposed to stick. But <laughs> we have electrical tape. What the tape. hell is it doing? It's holding your camera in place. We have electrical tape. But it was staying in place um, without the thingy. There okay, we go. All right, Sorry. thanks. It's because we're, you know, ghetto here at our podcast. <laughs> okay. All right. Number 10, the murder of Joe Dean Sarin. Joe Dean Sarin? I think it's pronounced Jodine. <laughs> this almost seems like this is going to be like a stupid death. This seems like a start of a stupid death it round. It kind of does. This is in 2007. Oh, this is fairly recent. Art and Lois Saren went to visit their 39-year-old daughter, Jodine, mm -hmm. at her condo. Mm -hmm. Okay, she was mentally disabled, Aww. but she was able to live independently. Oh, but that's the good. But par the parents checked on her quite often. So when they got to her condo, the lights were on, but they couldn't unlock the door because the chain was latched from the inside. Oh, the no. The security chain. Well, smart girl. And they called out, but she didn't answer. So the dad busted the door down, walked in, and uh, was surprised to find his daughter was having sex with a man. <gasps> um, the father yelled at the man, told him to get dressed and get the F out. <laughs> like most dads would. Yeah. And they left the room. But now he, the daughter's 38 though. 39. 39. But 39. she's mentally disabled. No, but okay. So the, the dad says, you know, get dressed and get out. And so him and the mom went in the living room to wait yes. while he got dressed. Yes. Um, and then they waited and they waited. Oh no. And then, um, they finally went back into the bedroom and found that their daughter was dead. <gasps> she was naked and laying on the bed and she had been beaten and strangled to death. By him? Yeah. He murdered her. In front of the parents, basically? While the parents were inside the apartment. Where the fuck was him? He went out the <laughs> window or something? He snuck out before they discovered what he did. But he's not going to get away with that. Uh, he can't see. get away with it. They saw him. Um, well, and so then they're saying, well, it's it's possible that she wasn't purposely having sex with him, that maybe he was raping her when they walked in. They don't know. Oh, no. Um, and then he killed her so she couldn't be able to... And then he killed her and he ran off and they never caught him. Well, what I find odd about this is if someone's being strangled and beaten, wouldn't they have heard it? It's they were in the other room. They were in a, it was like a tiny condo. That doesn't add up. That's weird. And like like did they were they in on it? I don't know. That's Maybe. all it says. Was she already dead? Maybe she was well, you think they would know if she was already dead when they walked in on them having sex. Yeah. Unless it was just like, "Oh my god." Oh my God! Get the fuck get the out! Get the fuck out! Get, out get your get clothes! The, and get um, the fuck out! And then they walked in the other room and didn't notice. And then he got I dressed and he got the fuck out. He just listened to him. He's like, "All right, all right, let I'm me out. just get out." Mm. Wow, that's weird. That's horrible. That's really we are horrible off and to weird. A rough start. <laughs> that's a rough start. All right, is there a better one? All right, <laughs> February 1988. English furniture dealer David Sims. <laughs> took a business trip to the Philippines. And while he was there, he <laughs> got married to a woman named China Rose. Do you think he used a travel guide package? <laughs> <laughs> a tour guide package? Yeah. I'm sure he did. Probably not, since he found somebody to marry. Maybe. I don't know. All right. He married this woman named China Rose, who's 20 years younger than him. Oh, shit. And so she went back with him to England because he's from England. Yeah. And then they eventually moved into a house in South End, which is must be a part of England. Yeah, I would I assume so. Yeah. Um, the marriage started to fall apart very quickly. Well, imagine and, that with um, a 20-year difference. Yeah, I know, right? After you knew this person for probably a week. Um, China told her sister she wanted to leave because he was becoming violent. Uh oh. Yeah. She even claimed David had told her he'd hire someone to kill her because it was cheaper than getting a divorce. Hello, red flag, right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sorry. My oh, but he God. loves me. I can't leave. He wouldn't hurt me. He just said it would be cheaper to kill me than to actually. You he know. was. He was joking. Not, it's not a big deal. I just don't understand how people get married that quick and think that that's going to be okay. <laughs> 
Well, I do love that All show right. Married at First Sight. I know. And they don't meet it. They don't know each other. Nobody's until been they murdered get... yet, though, right? No. Someone okay. was almost murdered on it's, Big Brother. It's kind of hard really? for them yeah. to murder. Like, like they caught it on camera. Like this dude, he was like drunk and there's this other girl who was drunk and they were like flirting in the kitchen and she like held, he like held a knife to her throat and was like, what would happen if I just like killed you right now? And they like immediately were like, oh, David, can you come to the, to the room? Can you come to the, what do they call that? I don't know, but they the like diary room or whatever. Yeah. And they took him to the room and they were like, yeah, you can't be on the show anymore. <laughs> yeah. You're going to have to leave now. Yeah. The cops are waiting yeah. for you. That's crazy. They had yeah. your courtesy handcuffs waiting. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you're not going to win. But okay, no. You have to go. I don't. I thought they gave people like psychological. They do. They do like really. I think it was. This is an old Big Brother episode. Oh, okay. But okay. I think well, that's why they do. They're the supposed to. I'm married after that. <laughs> after that, they're like, we should probably psychologically evaluate people before mm-hmm. they come in here. No. Yes, yeah, seriously. Mm. Megan, could you pour in more wine? All right. Thank so you. on Valentine's Day in 1993, China went to a family party. Okay, okay. And that was the last time anyone saw her. Oh, so he did kill her. Um, she just went missing. Um, they don't know what happened to her. And then her husband also disappeared. He was last seen at their home approximately two months after she disappeared, but then he vanished without explanation. Because he killed her. He had to leave. He even had two daughters from a previous marriage, and they never had no contact. He just disappeared. Well, yeah. you, that's what murderers do. He, they have to disappear. He's living in the Philippines now. Probably. Probably. So With it says, another new wife. It says yeah. years later, they tracked down... Um, this guy named Jeffrey who shared the home with, I guess he was a roommate or something that lived with them. Okay. And he said David asked him to sell the house and put the proceeds into account under David's alias, Anthony Peter Lewis. That was his alias. So he got about 40,000 pounds um, put into the account and at least 10,000 pounds remains in the account and has never been touched. So he used 30 of it? Uh, yeah, it sounds like it. Oh, wait. Collected. Oh, no. 40,000 pounds was collected by a man claiming to represent David, but 10,000 pounds remains in the account. That's never been touched. Yeah, it's so weird. And they both of them never saw it. You never saw him again. So I bet he killed her and then went on the lamb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Disappeared. <laughs> I bet the dude who's getting the money was probably like, I bet David was probably like, hey, I hired you to kill this girl. The money is in a like an account with this name under it. Like, yeah, go there, pick it up. There you go. Yeah, maybe. That's weird. Yeah, that's a very odd one. Okay. Why just get a divorce? All right, we have one, one more. Okay, <laughs> one more we'll do. One Let's more. see which one do I want to do. There's some good ones on that list. All right, the discovery of Julie Valentine. <gasps> oh, that's a very Valentine. That's cute. Okay. I bet she's gonna die. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I bet she's dead. That's All I right, bet she's gruesome. Well, the name like that, her murder must be very interesting. I would assume so. On the morning of February thirteenth, nineteen ninety. Glenn Hayward was walking through a field located behind a mall in Greenville, South Carolina. He was looking for wildflowers to give to his wife for Valentine's Day. Aww. That's so sweet. How is he going to be the worst character in this story? (laughs) Well, the site he was looking for wildflowers is known for being a legal dumping ground. And there was stuff all over the field and stuff. Oh, he um, came across a Sears vacuum cleaner box and noticed a foul odor (laughs) emitting from it. Oh, (laughs) no. (gasps) Oh, no. Oh, Oh. no. Oh, no. That's bad. Wait, is it something I'm going to freak out about? No. Is it a person? Well, it was a baby girl that was. (gasps) And it was a baby girl. She yeah, was, that's not okay. This is not okay. She was just born. Still had her placenta and her <gasps> umbilical cord. How oh, do people do that? I don't know. There's so many ways to... Th- so many other things you can do. Oh, my God. So weird. There were traces of food in her stomach, so she had been cared for at some point. 
but they couldn't determine the cause of death or they didn't they didn't know the child's identity so they named her Julie Valentine. That's so sad. Well, that was Oh. That's not really how I wanted the end. They never this. found out They never found out what happened to her. So it went from so cute to horrible. This was not a good article to read. This is podcast. horrible. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not happy. Damn. Do you want to do some trivia or something, Megan? Let's, Let's do trivia. trivia. Let's do something because happy. I'm scrolling through these and they're all like bad. <laughs> we have another pretzel, please. Yes. Mm-hmm. After that story, do I need an F and Show Heather a pretzel. Thank you. Take the whole bag. Oh. Get, just get the bag. There we go. Oh. I found. <laughs> <laughs> Give me one. I want one. In good mm-hmm. news, I found Valentine's Day trivia. <laughs> oh, oh hey. good. Yeah. Good job, Megan. So I can't wait to suck at this trivia. Uh-huh. I, it's like 50 questions. So we're not going to get Holy them shit. all. Holy shit. Just give us like a couple. Yeah, yeah. I, know, I know. My phone is at 14%. <laughs> um, <laughs> Cupid has what name in Greek mythology? Saint something. Cupid? No, he's not a saint. I no, he was a saint. Not Greek mythology. Um, well, I'm out then. Um, I don't know. Termodynasty. <laughs> Isn't Cupid a Am kind I of close? angel? No. Oh. <laughs> it's Cupid is in in Greek mythology. Cupid is um, Aphrodite's son. If that gives you is that word. his name, Cupid? Though no, that's not his name in Greek mythology. But in Greek mythology, he is uh, Aphrodite's, Aphrodite's son. son. So okay, what's his name? Uh, Eros. Oh, I knew that. Damn yeah. it. Hi, Patron. What are you doing with the dog? The dog is on the... Cr- yeah. Uh-oh. Okay. No there we go. Thing. We got the dog. All right. Let's try another one. Look at one. the camera, Patron. Look at the camera. See how cute you are? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what Valentine's Day candy was first created on equipment made for lozenges? The, the conversation hearts. Yeah. Sweethearts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, once upon a time, I... I and I haven't tried it since. I'm allergic to those. What? Mm-hmm. Why? Don't What's know. In them? I don't know. Powder? Chalk? chalk? I <laughs> don't know. Yeah, I feel like that's chalk. Chemicals? Well, <laughs> supposedly, when Heidi and I were really young, my twin sister, mm-hmm. um, about three, the parents gave us some of those little conversation hearts, and we both had issues breathing. We had to go to the hospital. That's so weird. Because our little throats were closing in. And they said, okay, they're allergic to those. They probably mm-hmm. fixed that by now, I'm sure. I haven't had one since. We're going to have to test this I out. I was like three. I'm gonna, I'll record while you eat one. Well, that's fantastic. Watch if she dies. Well, I mean, I don't think I'd die. Go I just ahead. might have a hard time breathing. If it makes you feel better, you know, I'll, I'll eat a walnut while you eat a conversation heart. We can know, both go to the hospital. You know, Why don't you wait and see if I actually, <laughs> and then you can eat the walnut on our way to the hospital. Okay. Maybe don't <laughs> poison yourself if I'm not going to get poisoned by mine. <laughs> okay, we'll do that. All right. You know what this conversation reminds me of? Hmm. Uh, throwback to a really early podcast episode when we read the story about those two guys who like one dude choked on a baguette and the other dude had a heart attack oh, and they died right. at the same oh, time. That's right. Yes, and they couldn't figure out what had killed them until yeah. they really did all that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I got reminded of that, but yeah, I didn't even remember that. That's funny. That was awesome. Why, that why was would awesome. I forget? Um, in the Victorian era, mean spirited Valentine's Day cards were called blank Valentines. I, I wasn't listening. My microphone <laughs> was doing weird things again. In the, <laughs> in the Victorian era, mean-spirited Valentine's Day cards were called blank Valentines. Black Valentines? No. Um, it's a, it's a, it's like a food. It's, it's related sour? to sour. No. It, it's a, it, like we, um, we have some in the kitchen. Cheese. <laughs> not uh, cheese. Valentine. Not wine. It's in no. the kitchen. Vinegar. It is. Vinegar? Vinegar Valentine. Oh. That's a little bitter. It is. Yeah. It is. You don't want to eat vinegar. No, but it's very good for I you. I do like vinegar, though. Do you? When I was pregnant with Megan, I craved vinegar. <laughs> that explains a lot. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, another Victorian era term for a mean and comically. Sorry, I, I had to skip that one. I almost had a stroke reading this. <laughs> <laughs> Another 
A Victorian era term for a mean and comically mocking Valentine's Day card shares a name with what TV show? Oh, I should have paid attention to that question. I don't know. I just remember. Is it a TV show we would know? I think you watched it. Your mom's watched every TV show, so that's a tough one. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I have Um, hardly watched any TV shows. I said, what kind of TV show? Is it a drama or a comedy? It's a drama. It's you've probably never seen it, but you've probably heard of it. It's a ver- it, it was it was kind of a common phrase before. It was a TV show, not a phrase. I don't know. It like a saying or something, sort of. Mm. I don't know. Starsky and Hutch. <laughs> <laughs> it's a. Uh, I I I think it's about a woman. That does it's what? It's, <laughs> I'm, it's I a Victorian have... era. She's a woman. I'm drawing a full on blank. I am too. Full you're gonna, on blank. You're gonna hate yourself. I'm gonna when kick I say myself. It. Just tell me. I won't because it's, I already uh, know. I, I don't know it. Penny Dreadful. Never heard of it. Oh. I have never heard of that. Yeah, I never have watched heard, that. I heard of the term Penny Dreadful before the show mm-hmm. came out. I've never even heard of the term. Really? Yeah. Mm-mm. There was no chance in hell I was getting that one. I but have, like, I, I don't. Yes. I haven't gotten a trivia question probably for like three times through now. <laughs> three <laughs> sessions of trivia. I haven't gotten a question uh. correct. I'm not great with trivia. I am. I do remember stuff. Yeah. I just don't remember anything that's important. You remember important stuff. You don't remember the weird odd stuff that you don't think you need. There's always mm-hmm. the one where I'm like, there's no way Heather knows this. And then you get it immediately. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I don't know how I know those things. Yeah. Just pops in there. Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead. Maybe um, this will be that one. <laughs> From where was the oldest known Valentine's Day message sent? From where? From where? It's like a general location. Europe? No, no, no. I mean like like <laughs> library, grocery store, like general location. Oh. Like a place place? Like a... Uh, Not like a, like, a, like a name brand place. Like a, a school? Place place. Yeah, yeah, you're... I'm not going to say you're close, but you're on the right university. Track. No, it's probably not an educational facility. Uh, board. Uh, let's see. Um, library. No church. Post office. No. no. Church is good. Church wasn't was it? Good. Yeah, wasn't it? Was. Because was wasn't good. it Valentine's after yeah, a Saint something? I know. Saint Valentine. Yeah. Saint Valentine. Um, a home, like a home. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Prison. Yeah. Prison. Oh. oh. Yeah. That was fantastic. I don't know why that came in. My head. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, they have nothing to do in there. Let's just send a Valentine for prison. All right, one more. Oh, oh now I have to. Find Wait, it. we should end on the one I get. <laughs> <I'm> Watch, <laughs> we're not gonna get this. Nobody's I won't get. get this one. That's what always happens. Give us an easy more. one. You're jumping down, dude. You can't. Get my cord. You know, you just want to change. He just wants to change the scenery. Did you see how difficult that was for him to turn I around know. in my lap? It always is. It always is. When you're a long dog, that's just what happens. He is. He's a long little hot dog. You long, you long puppy. Did you find one? <laughs> I, yeah. It, I don't know how easy this is. Okay. Be. Just, just lay it on us. Uh, what do yellow roses symbolize? Friendship. Friendship. Yeah. Oh, we both got it. <laughs> that's fantastic. I only know that one. Because that Heidi is, her baby color is yellow, and she would always get yellow roses, Aww. and I would always get pink roses. Aww. So Heidi w- looked it up, and because red means love, mm-hmm. yep. yellow is friendship, and I fucking forgot what pink is. Megan. <laughs> I should know. I was in floral design, and we got taught all of this You shit. did get taught. You took it twice, didn't you? She took advanced floral design. Yeah, she I'm did. still in advanced floral design. <laughs> And she still doesn't know what pink roses mean. It was well, a I don't long either. time ago. I should know. Why yeah, did I remember Heidi's? I don't remember my she's own. She's been taking the class. They re- represent joy and gratitude. <gasps> Aww. Aww. That's Your what joy. I always got. Your Your joy. Uh, and then white is sympathy. Yeah. Uh, how about purple? I'm think, just trying to quiz you. I don't you. think purple's a natural rose color. But I have, I have like a purpley rose bush. Do you? Mm-hmm. So I have, unfortunately, I have three pinks, all different shades of pink. Like I have a hot pink, a baby Aww. pink. What's purple? It's a sign of enchantment and love at first sight. Oh, oh that's nice. Ooh. Yeah. 
Thor claims it was love at first sight for us. Yeah. Oh. Nice. What? A blue rose signifies true love associated with the unattainable. Ooh. What's another color rose? So I have yellow, red. Oh, orange roses. Oh, there orange. are orange. How about a fire rose? I have a fire rose. Oh. It's so it's red on the outside, a really vibrant red, but yeah. then it's like there's orange. Ooh. On the inside of it. I'll just take a picture. I have a picture somewhere of it, Pretty. but I'll take huh. pictures this year of it. Orange roses symbolize a budding romance, like a romance in its early stages how about before, a f- it, before you upgrade to red. How about a fire um, rose? I only know that's what it is because it was on my rose bush. Well, you know, you can make called. roses any color. You yeah. just get a white one and you put it in food coloring in the water and it will turn any um, color you want. Undying, you- undying love. Undying love. That's why I have oh, that. Wait, 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 wait. No, oh. I read the wrong part. Oh, oh. Fire and ice roses. There's an ice rose. Stand alone beautifully, but when they are paired with some other complementing flowers, they can they become truly amazing. I don't know what that tells me. but Oh. Well, I okay. my fire rose bush is amazing. I take it looks so pretty. I want to see it uh, this year. Well, you have seen it. I just I, I never pointed out. Hey, this is my it. fire rose. I bush. want you to point it out to me because you've seen my because you know that side of my house is the yeah. only thing that's any good. Yeah, of of my <laughs> landscaping. <laughs> I think your house looks. I think your backyard is fine. Wait, you just point you said the worst part is the okay. Yeah, that's it, the worst part. It's it bald. Okay. It's balding. So. The backyard's balding. So? It doesn't and even you have, have four dogs. You have nice furniture out oh, there. Oh, yes. Thank you. I do you have, have nice, nice furniture. And nice you have a freaking kick-ass barbecue. And you have yes. good dogs. And I like your dogs. And they love yeah. you. They fucking better. They do. <laughs> <laughs> and they, Megan loves them. They do. I Merlot. And, and, oh, I know. so happy when I go over there uh, now. It's awesome. She just got, she just got yeah. a brand new sweater. Oh, 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 she did. I know. I saw. Are you talking about the one Aaron did? Yes. Yeah. The one that Aaron did. Yeah. It, okay. He Keep wants. He, he wants to go. See her. Speaking of Aaron, she's Aaron's here. Here. So we're gonna log off. Um, thank you everybody for listening. Um, mm. we hope everybody has a fantastic Valentine's Day. Yeah. You get everything that you wish for. Yes. And um, go Valentine. Go Valentine. Go Valentine. Eat lots of candy. Drink lots of wine. <laughs> Eat pretzels. Jeff Eat pretzel. And I, Jeff and I are going to do the Walmart Valentine's date. Have you heard of that? What's that? It's pretty oh cute. Oh, my God. It's I had really not cute. heard of it, and it's fucking cute. You guys should do it. What is it? You go to Walmart. Uh-huh. You go to the movie bin. You have those bin, those movies for like five bucks or whatever. Mm. You put your hand way down in there, and you pull out a movie, and that's the movie you're going to watch that night. Then you go to the frozen food aisle, and one person sits at stands at one end. The other person closes their eyes and puts their hand out, and they walk down until the other person says stop. And whatever they're pointing at, that's what you have to eat. <laughs> okay, that's not going to work great for me. You have to be in an aisle where you like what you're going to get. Or yeah. it has to be an aisle that I can eat the stuff. Yeah. 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 That's not a fun aisle. So we're going to try <laughs> this Saturday, and I'll let you know how it You goes. guys will have fun. It'll be fun. We'll have okay. to do, we have to do the Goodwill date again soon. Yeah, we do. You know, that was fun. When we're allowed to go to the Goodwill and do that. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. All right. Uh, peace out, everybody. I hope everybody Bye. has a good week. <laughs>